Hey everybody, I'm out here at Titusville. It's uh, November 15th and I bought some bait earlier to go do some fishing out here and I noticed that there's a lot of people. I said, why is it so crowded? Food trucks and people lining the streets, parking's all taken up. I usually park out there on them berms, just uh, sitting underneath the shadow of the VAB over there in NASA. And, uh, and then it dawned on me to uh, go ahead and open up Google and find out what's going on. And there's a launch today, and it's supposed to be a historic launch. They're launching four astronauts. SpaceX is launching four astronauts to the ISS uh, on the uh, Dragon Crew or Crew Dragon capsule. Forget the name of it, but uh, it's something like that. Y'all know what it is. And, uh, and I'm pretty excited because I've never been out here this close to one of the launches and I've lived here for 20, 23 years. I've only seen them from way over there where I live because I've always heard that this place gets really crowded. But, but I'm pretty excited because like I said, this will be the first time I'm this close. So hopefully there's gonna be a lot of noise, a big rumble. Fortunately, it gets dark early. So, so it's mostly gonna be like a nighttime launch. Anyway, I had to get out here kind of early so that I can stake a claim up here at the top of Titus Little Bridge. Look at that. That's all right. But yeah, you can see the VAB way over there. You see it there? That's a vehicle assembly building. It's pretty exciting. I love that stuff. So, all right. Let's find a spot and get set up because it should be another hour and a half nearly two hours before uh, the launch occurs. So, all right, I'm excited. Funny, like I, like I said before, this is my first time ever coming up close to one of these launches. I've only seen them from the backyard and other places, you know, around Orlando, but never up close like this. And people walking by, I said, where's it at, where's it at? I'm like, it's over there, <laughs> I don't know. So, I do know that when it, when it does ignite, that it illuminates everything around there and it just, it just, you can feel it rumbling in your chest and everything like that. Not long ago, I was out on an open field, just a couple weeks ago. I was out on an open field doing some snake hunting and I heard a rumbling sound and I was like looking around and uh, and I was with a friend of mine and I go, wait a minute, check it out, it was a launch. But the, the sound only carried over and uh, the launch was long gone. You could see the contrail and everything, but it was long gone. Anyway, well, we got a long way ahead of us, so. Let's get comfortable, huh? Hope y'all can hear me with my mask on, see? The, the Jungle J Adventures mask. <laughs> So I'm first here up on top of this bridge and this guy in the sailboat down here decided to park right there and his mast was perfectly in line to the launch pad and there isn't any more room forward to to uh, reposition so it's not in the way. So I inched a little further forward and got around it but I was like, oh man, what luck, right? Anyway, that's all right, I moved over, moved over just a hair. Nice sailboat though. And 
ice cream man out here making a killing. He's also killing it with that song. Apparently the camera is having a really hard time picking it up, but the ISS is actually flying over. I'll see what I can do about capturing it. Check this out. That was pretty fantastic. A little quieter than I expected, but it's still that was that's pretty incredible. First time I've ever seen one up this close. But uh, apparently, it's gonna the the rocket boosters will land on some barges. Are you guys here? But uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see or hear it. But uh, that's still a pretty spectacular uh, technology that we've developed over the years. There's a reusable rocket boosters, you know, from from the space shuttle era, but we pick them up out of the ocean. The, the SpaceX ones will land like in the old school uh, like science fiction movies, you know, it's with little legs and everything. It's like, yeah, that's cool stuff, you know. But uh, it's really spectacular. But uh, yeah, everybody's already all clear now. I'll just kind of wait till they just all go because I don't want to get bottlenecked with a bunch of, you know, people trying to stay safe, you know. 
luckily this spot that I was in wasn't really crowded or anything, so it worked out fine. But yeah, that was, I feel real honored to live in Florida right next to NASA. I come out here all the time and that's the first time I've seen it up close like that. It's just so cool. Love it. Love it. Oh man, that was really, really cool. Not only did we get to see the ISS, we got to see the launch. I mean, the uh, booster separation, everything. The camera stopped picking it up after a while uh, because after the main engine cutoff and the, the booster separated and all that, it kind of dims out and becomes difficult to see. The camera wasn't picking it up at all. So I just kept it running, kept the sound, you know, which is awesome. And uh, I just enjoyed it with my, uh, with my naked eyes instead of trying to focus on what the camera's trying to capture. So, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. That was, I might have to try to do more of these. That was fun. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and try to catch some fish. And I uh, appreciate you guys joining me for this. Thank you for watching. Take care.